Welcome back to Pokemon Desolation. Last time, we did Garen's side quest. This time, oh, excuse me, we're gonna raid the library. Be in this one. That's right next to the center. So, yeah. I'll speed up. Oh my god, I'm so used to, uh, uh, cough, cough, Genshin Impact controls on keyboard. And it's good to see you. It's about time you arrived, too. People were starting to give me stares, mate. I'm not exactly the library looking type, as you see. So, down to business. We need to get the into archives, right? Well, then, let's analyze the situation. So, the entrance is guarded by one guy. Probably your basic librarian, too. It'll be simple stuff to get past them. We just need a distraction. But not just any distraction, one that will be uh, one that will seem genuine. Because if one of my guys come in making a noise, it'll just raise suspicion. That's not what that's simple word, who cares? That guy over there with blue hair uh, with blue beard and hair. I met him before, fortunately. You may also have the pleasure. You may also have had the pleasure. He's an extremely strange and annoying bloke. In other words, the perfect distraction. Maybe he'll help us, huh? Okay. So the plan is pretty simple at the moment. We go and convince the blue. Okay, cool. I'll go pick a, a book. Try to be less suspicious. Suspicious? Oh boy. Once we get inside, we gotta be quick, alright? We can't be seen messing with this stuff, period. Well, lucky for you, I have the key. Oh. I have the key. Oh yeah, I love reading, you know, pages and shit. And uh, the ink, lots of ink. Good hurry up, links. I can't be this perfectly disguised forever. Ah, ah. Mm, you need some for me, uh, as you can see, I'm sitting here trying to enjoy the presence of this table. You remember this experience for me, friend. I don't appreciate that, not one bit. Oh, you want me to distract with the librarian, dude? You little munchkins asking for favors for nothing? Hmm. But Jared would never turn down a chance to have some fun. Indeed, Jared thrives on it. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, Ger Gerald will do as you say. Gerald needs nothing to return. Jared will wait for your signal. I go bet. That was easy. Oh, yeah, I love reading. You know, shit and stuff. That's the ink. Could you help links? What? Jared, wait for signal. Which ready? Oh, I thought. Jerry, yeah, that is the point. Hello, sir. Jerry does not mean to bother you, but Jerry has a problem. What? No, you don't. You idiot. What are you doing? Jared? Jared is dealing with the problem, fool. Jared needs laboring help. Um, sir, are you feeling okay? Indeed, Jerry is also. No, no, no. Jared has a sore tummy, a sore head, sore toes. Sore toes? Jared has sore toes wearing no shoes. What's going on here? Jared is will ask the librarian man for a favor. The librarian is so kind to lend Jared shoes. I'm not one of the librarians. I got the archives, you fool. The archives are the most prestigious store of knowledge in all the Ethereum. Jared is the most prestigious owner of sore toes. Hope Jared. Oh, uh, fine. It's like someone will come anyways. God, we better. Uh, we do, oh boy. We need better security for people like you. Thank you, librarian man. My toes are real grateful. I'm not a librarian, I'm a. I'm wasting my time. Let's get this over with. Oh, just to get. No, okay. Just like that. Oh. So, this is what the back's here. Oh, that's not what that said. Well, links. Looks like we're in. I gotta say, I can't believe that crap worked. Seriously, what's wrong with that guy? Anyways, never mind that. We can't waste time. You got a job to do, right? Look down to the archives. I don't know how much time we got. If only you like a cool item here, you know, a cool item, you know, this book, it was actually hiding a mega ring. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, most prestigious knowledge. Holy hell. Who knew this place was down here? Right beneath our noses. It's definitely not what I imagined. I thought it would be more, well, library-ish. Is that even a word? Nah, who cares? We got jobs to do. Information on shipping the world, huh? Right. Let's put up a look around. Uh, this looks like a big place. We gotta cover a lot of ground to cover. Oh boy. Find anything that looks suspicious. Good luck, mate. 
Oh wait, I have the key. Wait, what? The key. That's a healing machine. Shit's gonna go down. Find a book. Get the book. Find a book. Actually, three. Uh, let's not read that one right now. Okay, that's tree. What's this one? One. All right. As you begin to read the words of the diary, a strange feeling overcomes you. I should probably start by introducing myself. If anyone else is to ever read this, it's kind of hard of you to tell. Kind of hard to tell you my name, because even I don't know it. My parents went around to tell me, so I started calling myself Aurora. I at least I like that name. Uh, kind of. I wonder if my parents were around somewhere, what would they named me? But what does it matter now? They ran off. They left my brother and I in the middle of the frozen wasteland. They simply vanished. Left us, left us their own home and a little more. We would have looked after ourselves. And so I began the story of my brother and I. I also began the story of my brother and I. Oh, bet. You're feeling right off. Uh, uh. Was that a, a vision? A vision? Uh, Diary of a Monster, part two. Uh, -huh, another vision. Uh. We're not normal kids, Shiv and I. We've never been normal. We we're born like this, born with these strange abilities. Until I met that girl, I thought we were completely normal. You know, we never asked for this. We never wanted it. That's an apom. Shiv always loved battling, even before he knew he wasn't normal. He's so good at it too, in fact. Excuse me. He always said he wants to take on the lead one day. I just think he had to come. Ooh, I, to, I actually think he had to come to his. Oh god. Come to love his powers. He embraced them, used them to help him out in every twist and turn. His powers became part of who he was, I guess. Me, I wasn't so lucky. As soon as I realized I was different, I desperately wanted to be normal again. I couldn't stand the feeling I had that I didn't belong, you know. So yeah, I spent a long, long time researching, well, us, and here I am now. But even after all of this, I still haven't even answered the most fundamental question. Wait, so what happened to... What the hell are we? What happened to... Uh, what's his name? The other little brother, Shiv. I forgot his name. <laughs> Happens to weren't their siblings too, or something like that. Well, whatever. Oh, I never stopped researching. I wanted to be normal, desperately so. I didn't want to live like this, knowing I was, well, you know. I wasn't about to give up so easily, right? So I spent my entire childhood on this damn research. I done all I could about myself and Shiv. I thought I had all the answers. Oh yeah. I approached a nearby science conference. I thought maybe they might be able to help us. I presented my findings to anyone. I explained our situation as best I could. I didn't think they'll treat it as a joke. It was my own fault really. To someone who hasn't experienced what we've been through firsthand, it could seem completely bizarre. Oh, it turned red. But even so, all that work, all that time spent in the clicking shiv. For what? To be mocked, laughed at by snobby losers. Damn, tell him again. I wouldn't allow it. I wouldn't allow them to condemn Shim like the shiv like that. I lost myself that day. I did what I swore I would never do. I heard someone with those same powers that I was desperately trying to get rid of. And hell, looking back on it now, I may have even enjoyed it. I guess that's what shaped me into who I am today. But Shiv and I are both complete, absolute monsters. Let's change the word up. Oh, I'm back. All right. Now what is this? Look there. <laughs> There's a healing machine there. That I'm scared. The book on the pages. Alright. I knew what I was. 
If I turned on all my work, I knew what would happen to me. What a shitty world we live in, huh? Yet, I would continue my research. I wasn't going to stop just because some snot nose nerds told me to. No, I would continue alone. That begin said my motivation for continuing has surely changed. I didn't want to be normal, and after that feeling I had when I well disposed of those people. That feeling of being powerful, being in control of the situation. I don't want anyone to take away that ooh, take that away from me. Not after experience so vividly. It was at that moment that I realized my new cause. I will continue this research to cure myself. No, I wouldn't. Ugh. I will continue my research to find out my weaknesses, to find out whatever hurts Shiv and I, and to eliminate it. Shiv, unfortunately, had also changed. While I spent my time researching our abilities, he spent his time using them. He defeated countless trainers, the best of the best. Travelers, gym leaders. He was slowly becoming the best, like the one everyone. <laughs> but what are you meant to do once you become the best? I should have kept a close eye on him. It was obvious how he felt. Empty, bored, like everything was meaningless. He had never been offered a challenge, ever. He became too good for his own good. I did what any big sister would, try to help him. I started training Pokemon myself, training whatever I could find. I used my abilities to accelerate the process, to become as strong as possible, as quickly as possible. I had to save him. I thought I could. I battled him eventually. I won easily. I didn't expect that it would only add to his grief. I thought that it would motivate him. Yet, there I was, losing my big brother before my eye. Whoa, well, big brother, wait, oh, excuse me, what? I think I read the wrong, oh boy. This is until the strange girl arrived. Mm. Should feeling right off, oh boy. Look at this place. It seems like there's everything down here. Perhaps even, uh, even on Lilith, the foxes. Well, mate, it's you. So many luck. I've all shed it all. I'm afraid. Not as like, I'm not as like a vivid reader. Rapid reader. I wasn't overrun. Shit, were strange, but these abilities. How is that real? I'm used to dealing with thugs and snobs. Not this insane shit. I know it's real, mate. I've seen it with my own eyes, but... Ah, damn. We're wasting time here. Come on, let's get moving. It's an item. Silk scarf. That's trash! Uh, I couldn't be something better. I'm going to some treasures drawn to you. Take enough of the page. Diary must... Wait. Wait. That mess one? Wait, what? Did I skip one? I can't go back. Whoa! Oh no! I am stuck! Okay. Alright. Great game, by the way. <laughs> Great game. Fantastic game. Wait, hold up. Before I go. Okay, this is four. Okay. I'll just skip all this. Same thing. Let's go back over here then. Alright, let's see. So this is where five is. The train book that animates Dark Presence. I could not save my brother. Everything was falling apart. He began obsessed over what I feared. Power. He was just hungry for it. He wanted it. He needed it. She was changing before my eyes. And not for the better. Yeah, the little dude right there. He started bringing a stranger from a nearby town. Anifal, I think they called it. He used these strangers to manipulate them and to help him find a strange black stone. Oh, Keegan, that poor boy. Oh, he manipulated him. Shiv. The shit you've been doing. 
He never deserved this. That stone will be our family's undoing. Well, that is, whatever my family, whatever family we have left. As Shift became more obsessed with the stone, the more he lost himself. The emptor he became. That is until one day when a girl entered our home on her own accord. A very strange girl with an even strange name, Nova. That's not right. Her and Shiv were the perfect match and they shown he gravitated towards her almost immediately. In no time at all, they were the closest of friends. She would begin to visit every single day. They will spend the entire day together. In fact, I began to see emotions in Shiv that I thought were long disappeared. He laughed at her jokes, blushed at her teething, and most importantly, he smiled. This girl, Nova. He brought out this side of him. She pulled him out of whatever pit, he, pit his mind was left in. This girl, Nova, she had saved my little brother. And she went off. Okay. I'm gonna assume reading these diaries affects uh, the ending somehow. If you read them all, it affects it even more. What's the place? Okay, cool. So that's the last one. And I can't go back because uh -huh, I think we'll break. You know what I'm saying? Top of the bug. Six. Oh, what? It means sunk stuff in. Excuse me. Nova. I was so absolutely foolish to trust her. She was a normal person, completely human in every regard. And that's why she was so dangerous to us. I was so stupid. Shiv and I are monsters, nothing more. Hey, Nova, she knew it. She grasped the concept, especially well, in her betrayal. Nova, of course, was at her house again. I suppose Shiv was happy enough with her around, so I let her stay the night. Out of no more than goodwill. Mm. Wait, the trees like that on the floor? Okay. It was a strange night for me. I felt like I was in deep, stranger sleep than usual. There was no sort of a nightmares that night either. There was one particular nightmare that I very much wanted to get out of. Get out of. So I pushed, I shoved, I woke with a start. Oh. I only seen Noah's cold red eyes staring down at me. Her hands were on my shoulders, and I felt so drained. Something felt wrong. Something was leaving through my shoulders, straight into her hand. She saw that I woke and ran out as quickly as she could. She stole the power. I tried to move as hard as I could, but felt so empty. Despite that, I found my strength, got up, chased her without holding back. I followed her down the stairs as quickly as I could. But then I heard a sound. There was no mistaking it. It was of yelling. I knew I needed to hurry. What was a, I was say, what was Nova doing? Why was she doing this? My thoughts were buzzing all over the place as I ran down the stairs. I tried to use my powers to reach him. I swear I did everything, but nothing worked. Nothing, cause she stole the powers. I knew I was too late, and that when I saw it. I couldn't mistake it. It was dark, right? Oh! Shiv, no, Shiv got caught, Shiv got shivved. Shanked, or whatever. The knife, the blood, my little brother. Shiv, why? He cared so much about her, and that was how she repaid him. I mean, how Shiv lying there. I didn't once think to check if he was okay. I was a complete blinded by rage. I had the same feeling. A familiar feeling again. I wouldn't let her run away. Yeah, chase her down. I wouldn't let her run away. And after that, not after what she's done. I'm pretty sure she was dead anyway. I wouldn't do. I would do this. What she did to Shiv, but a thousand times worse. But even then, by the time I got outside, she was gone. She just disappeared. Just like my parents, it was the same thing all over again. It was like she had just teleported away. At the time, it became obvious why I couldn't use my powers. It's the same reason Nova could teleport away. 
She stole them somehow. Stole my powers. Stole a part of me, a part of who I am. She used Shiv to hurt him, manipulated him to steal my powers. This girl, Nova, stole a part of me. At that point, I knew my research could wait. Nova on the hand could not. Hmm. What the hell? This can't be right, no way. This is crazy, insane. I don't believe in this fairy tale bullshit. This is stupid. That's true. I think let's get closer to this shit. This here. This talks about Nova and Shiv. Nova and Shiv, the famous childs, are often dis discussed as cursed beings. However, they are not so different from you and I. In fact, they are completely and over the normal. Yet, what are their so called powers? Let it be known, reader. Anything is possible when. What the hell was that? It's coming from the surface. Thanks. I'm not taking your wrist down here, mate. Let's get the hell out of here, alright? Come on. I let go. Oh. What the hell's happening up there? Links, we got to stick together, alright? We'll talk about it what I saw when we're out of here. Come on, let's get moving. She's feeling like. What the? We all need you to leave, even you. Don't worry. I won't leave you behind, Garrett. Ah, there's Rosetta. Things are bad. It's far too much for me to handle. Rosetta, how did you know? Questions can wait. It's Aurora Nova. They're fighting. We couldn't stay he anywhere near them when this happened. We need to go now. We need to get out of here. Sort it out later. Got to work again. Rosetta, I just... You knew I wouldn't leave you behind. Wait, what? Rosetta, Lynx, they didn't. Got to tell up Rosas. They must be blocking Lynx from. That meant Lynx hold. I could bet. Meanwhile. Nova, little Nova, how I missed you. Oh, shit. Back to kill like just old times. This time, things will be different. Think I'm scared of you, Aurora? I'm done running from you. I'm done being afraid of you. You're obsessive. Nothing less. I wonder why. I'm not scared of you. You're scared of me? You immature child. I don't want you to be scared of me, Nova. I want you to think you can stand up and fight. I want you to try your luck again, just so I can see your face when I put you back down again. Oh, damn. Talk that smack. You're a psycho, Aurora. What the hell do you even want from me? For your damn reason, you won't just stay out of my life. Stay out of your life? Why didn't you follow your own advice all those years ago? You used him, Nova. You hurt him. Broken him. You stole a part of me. You think I just forget that? How else was I meant to survive out there? Was what I started to become. But all I have to do is show. We all have to do shitty things, Aurora. We all made mistakes. You, me, Shiv. Please, just leave me alone. Leave you alone? After all of that? Shut up, Nova. I'm done playing your manipulative little games. Give them back. Give me back the rest of my damn powers now. I won't run from you anymore, Aurora. You stole a part of me, Nova. Give it back now. I'm warning you, damn it. A part of you, huh? No, it's not yours. Not anymore. You damn. Fine then. If you want to play things that way, I'll finish what you started on that night. You remember that little stone, Nova? The onyx stone. That you did. That you so desperately wanted to work. It won't work. Not in your native hands. It is going to be used by our family, not a pathetic thief like you. Damn. So then, you want to see what this stone brings out? Let me show you, Nova. Just let you know. Just to let you know what you've never been able to have. Your useless life. Damn. Aurora, no. Please wait. I warned you, Nova. I warned you over and over. You wanted your new world so bad? Come and take it. You being gone, it'll be doing this world, uh, the world a favor. Enjoy the world that you wanted all alone. No, 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 I'm sorry. Please, Aurora. Please. Aurora, stop. That's enough. Oh. Shiv. Shiv, it's you. You came here t to the city where your powers are meant to be gone. Or I never come. I never planned to come here until I knew Nova was in the city. 
down to all of this. Shiv, I missed you so much. You have no idea. Is he dead though? I'm assuming he's dead. I want to be with you so much, but but the time you put it in, it's time to put it into all this shiv. Twin, all of this, we can be normal again. Starting by getting rid of her. No, you're not hurt her. God damn it. Shiv. What, what are you saying? You started with her over me? I don't agree with her ways, but you know that even then, I care about her. Shiv, no. No, you don't. She manipulated you. you. She only made you think that. It's not real, Shiv. You think I care? It's real to me. And when it comes down to it, that's when it matters. I know it does not. I hate her for what she's done. For what she planned to do to me. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. Ron, this guy forsaken world. She... Oh, the pianos would vibe with me. The only normal person I'd really give a crap about. And not me? I've betrayed already. Please, Ron, let it go. Just leave her alone. Please. I wish things were easy. But you know the world isn't that kind. Not to whatever the hell we are. What well, she's done. I won't let her do it to us again. I'm sorry, Shiv. In my eyes, families come first. I won't leave you to her, whether you like it or not. Aurora, no. Please calm down. Don't do this. I'd rather take you both at the same time. So be it. This is for the good of the family. Damn it, Aurora, fight. Have it your way. Surprise. How you been? Shiv, I heard what you said about me. How you don't care about me? Thanks, damn it. Please, I can't fight my own sister alone. She's far too strong. Please, you won't hear me. Oh, God. You won't hear me. I need a moment. Hold up. I need a moment. I'm like, you won't hear me say this again, but I need your help. Before she hurts Nova. Links, hmm, says your name. So, this is why your scent was familiar. You knew my brother all along. You're quite the enigma, Lynx. I don't know you well, but I know this. You just come out of the archives. I knew you were there. You've seen my journal, haven't you? Which means you know the truth. You know what Nova's done. She deserves what she's gonna get from me. I'm like, um, you on revenge? I'm gonna let you get that revenge. I am not getting in between that. I don't know if I have it in me to fight Shiv. Not again. Lynx, please. Avert his eyes. Lynx, no, please. Trust me. Aurora can be stopped. This is gonna end happily, I swear it. Please forgive Nova. <sighs> no. Oh, I both live and require your help. What will you do? Help Aurora or condemn Nova? Oh, condemn Nova or help Shiv and save her. <sighs> oh, shit. Hmm. Why did I pick the last time? Uh, 2v1, I don't like those thoughts. But 2v2, I'm down. So that's it. So that's it, huh? you just like her. No, they're not. But they certainly know what they're doing. I should have known what would come to this. Find the links. Have it your way. I hope you, of all people, will find the heart of forgiveness. But I suppose I was wrong. I'm sorry for this, for all of this. Don't get this work, Shiv! And before he completely blows me back. <laughs> hey, look, Shiv, I have you. <laughs> Alright, here's the real question. Well, my ambipalm out speed is a palm. Okay, I have to say. Alright, let's do it for this. Ah, uh, it's not blood whoops. I'm kind of curious. What would the um, uh, the ending will be? Yes, I met a growth ball. My boy has power. What? The I want this power. Well, I do have power. I got these two, and well, these th well, these four, well, these six. But I want power. This is not a one shot though. Never mind. <laughs> I 
gear reduced. Oh, it's a shame I have a buzz. That boy Thor. Oh, he. Where am I? It's, oh, Thunderbolt, whatever. Oh, it's Earthquake. I can live it. I believe. Oh, no, I cannot. Okay. Okay. As you wait, maybe which. Who cares? I didn't say before this. Where is it going to die anyway? Where can I get a Gyarados? Sorry to worry you, but where can I get a Gyarados? A Rosa Raid? Will I speed? Nope. Will I live? Probably not. Yep. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. The poison point. Bless. Oh my god. Alright, I need to flinch. I need the flinches. Come on. I need the flinches. I'll come. Still living. I need the flinches. Come on. Give me the flinch. Or just die. Alright. A wee bow. Oh, it's a shame. I have a fucking type. That boy missed. That's a pony train for Ohio. Oh, he lived. Oh. Well, that's the case. I'm just going to swap. I'm just going to swap. Ah, <laughs> oh, you. If I'm winning that yummy. Oh my god. Alright, what's your last one? A Charizard. Oh boy. Um. Stay it. I know this is going to be Mega, but which one though? That's the question. Do uh, you. X. I'm here for it. It's fine. I don't know the play. I know the play. It's fine. Okay, very maxed. I have a fool. I don't. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I don't have a revive either. Hmm. Unless Kong can live one attack. No, he's not going to live that, though. All right. Flinch or die. Flinch or die. Flint. Ah, it's dead. It's over then, isn't it? I didn't expect to lose since I was so rusty. Did you start to fall behind her since she started playing with you? What I meant to do, I know Sis has a great head. She knows what she's doing, and you, Link's you. You're the same. You taught them Nova's lies and gave me the stone instead. You trusted me then, Lynx. I've got to trust you, you know. Wait, I've trust I got to trust you, you know. D oh boy. Aurora, please don't hurt her. I can't make any promises. <sighs> it's time to go. It's time for us to go, Nova. Shiv, 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 Lynx, please, please. Oh. Whatever you learn from us, Lynx, is all true. I won't lie to you. Uh, I won't lie to you about anything. Not anymore. You and I, we got a lot to talk about. But for now, let's call it a night. Surely, you must be tired. We'll speak later. Thanks for making me see things clearly. We'll be in contact. Lynx? You hear me, Lynx? Finally. I was beginning to worry that I lost you again. We're so close now. Lynx, I can feel it. You need to hold on just a little longer. I'm trying to find a way. I promise. Everyone I asked you about your dream, just hold on to that dream. I will guide you home. 